So the first performance benchmark of Intel's Core i9-9900K processor has been leaked in 3DMark. The benchmark not only shows us the impressive performance capabilities of the upcoming CPU, which will be Intel's flagship CPU under the 9th generation brand, but also confirms the specs that we have been hearing about for a couple of weeks. <laughs> The Core i9-9900K aims to be the flagship processor of the 9th generation family, which will be launching soon. This will be the first mainstream desktop Core i9 part, and also the first Intel chip to boast 8 cores and 16 threads, again, on the mainstream platform. Now in terms of cache, the chip will feature 16 megabytes of L3 cache and come with an Intel UHD 620 graphics chip. Now, the clock speeds are something to behold here, as we're going to be getting a 3.6 GHz base clock out of the box and a 5 GHz boost clock in a single and dual core operations. 4 core boost is rated at 4.8 GHz, while 6 and 8 core boost is rated at 4.7. This is the highest frequency we've seen on an 8 core part across all cores. All of this is done under a 95 watt package so we can expect some hefty cooling solutions to go along with this chip. Now in terms of performance, the chip scored 10,719 points in 3DMark, now that's via Tomb Apisac again, in the CPU specific run with an overall score of 9,862 points with the Gigabyte GeForce GTX 1080 Ti graphics card. The chip was tested on the ASUS Z370-F Strix gaming motherboard, which does confirm backwards compatibility on the existing 300 series motherboards while being supported on the upcoming Z390 motherboard. Comparing the CPU scores to other flagship mainstream CPUs, we see the 9900K to be clearly ahead by a lead of 1500 points over AMD's Ryzen 7 2700X and 2,500 points over the Intel Core i7-8700K, which has been confirmed in other various listings of the CPU. Now what about pricing? In terms of pricing, we expect the chip to cost somewhere between $400 and $450 US. However, it may even be priced to match the 8700K, which retails around $350 US. But we will have to wait and see whether Intel is thinking to go as competitive in the pricing department as AMD went with their desktop Ryzen processors. Now, in addition to the performance leak, Gautam.de is alleging that both the Core i9-9900K and the Core i7-9700K will be using a soldered IHS instead of a TIM solution. Now, this will only be valid for the two unlocked 8-core processors, while the rest of the lineup are likely to use the TIM solution once again. Intel's decision to use soldered IHS comes years after the release of Sandy Bridge, which was the last of their mainstream chips to use soldered IHS, while Ivy Bridge moved over to the TIM solution going forward. So a lot of this is really good stuff to digest. Pricing could be competitive, and we have to remember the 1800X did launch at 499, so 450 for an 8-core 16-thread part isn't really outside the realm of reality. However, it is quite a bit ahead of the Ryzen 7 2700X, but if the performance is there, it could easily justify the price difference. So we'd love to hear your thoughts on this particular part. Are you excited for 8 cores and 16 threads on the mainstream Intel platform where the latencies are lower, you don't have the mesh system, so the overall performance could really be up there. So love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. This is Big Keith with WCCF Tech TV, and we'll catch you all in the next video.